Hey guys, welcome to this radio video. And this is a uh, kind of a little bit of information about, you know, solar activity, but especially sunspots and our shortwave propagation. Um, I see posts from different places, you know, um, the shortwave um, Facebook page. There's, um, of course, emails like, you know, DX Listening Digest and stuff like that. Um, HF monitor um, and, and lots of others and I, I, I did see more than one post this morning about uh, well okay this weekend uh, I think we're gonna do something else in shortwave because there's a big sunspot uh, that is actually a um, not true at all uh, that is a misunderstanding of what sunspots actually do on shortwave propagation uh, sunspots by themselves actually are a good thing and we uh, you know I, I often mention in my videos how uh, the peak of solar activity when it's high is good because you know propagation is usually better and the higher frequencies propagate well they also coincide with the maximum amount of sunspots so when we are at a high peak of solar activity usually the Sun is peppered with spots it's covered with uh, you know dozens of spots sometimes more now this morning there's a lot of talk about this new sunspot it's a huge sunspot that appeared on the sun um, and you know we knew it was coming because I did see um, that there was a lot of uh, activity on the edge of the sun in the past few days so we kind of had a hint that something was coming up and uh, behold this huge sunspot appeared now it is quiet and this is the, the the thing we need to understand about sunspots sunspots can be quiet can be really unstable and release um, an amazing amount of solar flares uh, the thing is as long as a sunspot remains relatively quiet like this one the major effect that it has is that this region is increased activity on the Sun basically there's a bubble of magnetic field that's going through the the Sun's uh, corona here and basically what's happening is that this bubble of magnetism causes these dark spots now they look black but in reality they are shining also it's just that their temperature is a little lower than the, the surface of the Sun uh, 4,000 instead of 6,000 degrees and they look black but they aren't they're just less luminous uh, than the rest of the Sun now when that happens it means that the activity the solar output is usually increased and it shows because if we look at the x.qsl.net that I like to check the uh, you know numbers quickly solar flux increased from 80 81 to 98 and I wouldn't be surprised that today the new solar flux will reach will actually cross 100 uh, and more and that is a very good thing that is a very good thing so solar uh, sunspots when you have big sunspots appearing uh, you know you can tell yourself propagation is going to be better on shortwave and it already shows KBS World Radio 15575 this morning was really strong compared to the other days uh, and uh, I would you know not be surprised that tonight for North America uh, Radio Thailand might actually finally make it on 15590 uh, with that increased output from the Sun now where sunspots can be a problem is if the magnetic bubble here uh, which you know has millions of interconnecting lines of mag magnet magnetism um, if that were to break so sunspots come in different flavors those that are pretty stable that will cross the surface of the Sun and never flare and those that are totally unstable this one is pretty stable from what I've read right now it doesn't mean it's gonna stay that way because there's a little unpredictable side to uh, sunspots we don't know when they flare typically <clears throat> 8 out of 10 times that you know they issue warnings of solar flare possibility 
it doesn't even happen it shows how we just don't understand what uh, is needed for a sunspot's magnetic activity to flare suddenly we know that when the lines of magnetism start twisting around and start you know really getting complex that chances increase but we're not sure it is going to happen so this is good news because this one's stable and this is good news because of the output of solar flux that is higher meaning there's more energy from the sun uh, hitting the ionosphere so the ionosphere will actually be more stable and better for propagation and so this weekend is a weekend to try for lots of things um, and signals now if this sunspot continues to grow or continues to stay pretty much uh, as big as it, as it is now well it will cross the solar disk which means that it will continue with its effect in the next days and um, throughout the week so sunspots are not a bad thing the important thing is do they cause solar flares now if this sunspot would become unstable and say this afternoon uh, in a few hours from now would uh, you know unleash say a x1 solar flare which would be one of the big big solar flares what's going to happen first of all when it's on the edge of the sun like this one of the things that happens is first of all there will be a hf blackout when the flare exists because it actually will send particles that will destroy the ionosphere's property for an hour or two but that's a limited effect it happens for an hour or two and then comes back to normal uh, what the other effect is is when there's a big solar flare does the cloud of plasma the cloud of particles ejected from the solar flare uh, is it coming towards earth or is it going to miss now this sunspot's on the edge of the sun that means that if it explodes today in a solar flare that probably won't affect earth because the direction of the coronal mass ejection is away from earth because of the the position of this, this uh, sunspot <clears throat> so there will be an immediate effect of um, the shortwave blackout but after an hour or two it's going to come back to normal and we won't have any other effect now when this sunspot moves to the center of the disk somewhere here if it would flare around here that means that okay we will have a hf blackout again but this time because it is really generally in our direction it's pointing towards earth now the coronal mass ejection will of course affect earth and give geomagnetic storms but that takes a little time depending on the the speed of that ejection it could take anywhere from about 36 hours to several days before we actually feel the effect of such a flare so even if okay and let's put it to the worst even if this would flare today we will have an HF blackout for an hour or two but then the shortwave band is going to come back to normal and even if we would be touched by the coronal mass ejection it probably won't be in this weekend because it takes time for that cloud to actually come up to Earth. but it's not positioned right right now for that anyways so basically sunspots are a good thing the more there's sunspots on the Sun the more shortwave propagation usually is good because of the increased output of energy from the Sun that makes the ionosphere much more stable and what we just need to fear when there's a lot of sunspots is solar flares will there be solar flares will the solar flares send coronal mass ejections that will um, kind of play tricks with our geomagnetic field here on earth that would raise the k index because the k index here shows the magnetic fields uh, around earth so when the k index is one like now means it's very quiet condition this is perfect for shortwave a k index of one zero up to two 
isn't that isn't bad um, solar flux if it crosses the 100 barrier is a good thing um, so you know don't think that solar uh, that that sunspots are a bad thing they aren't they're actually good um, we just have to see if it's gonna flare or not but right now you know what it's pretty stable from what I see on uh, the um, on the uh, uh, spacewater.com website in different uh, places it does seem that um, the magnetic fields are pretty uh, stable on this one and as you see here it says magnetic fields arching above the sunspot can become tangled if they crisscross then they can of course do um, if you know they can do bad things but you know what here it says AR 2529 which is this sunspot or is not tangled it is stable and poses little threat for strong explosions giving us an idea that this sunspot it's probably going to just help shortwave propagation through the weekend. So take out your radio and start listening. And start listening to higher frequencies. Um, and in the evening, you'll notice that a lot of the stations will probably be much stronger tonight and tomorrow night than they are usually in the evening, local evening. So uh, take out your shortwave radios and listen to shortwave this weekend. I can tell you, you're going to have pretty good propagation uh, that's for sure. Hope you enjoy my videos. Please uh, subscribe if you do and give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching and uh, hope this little lecture on sunspots and propagation uh, helps you understand a little more about shortwave.